Hello students, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss a section of solid a cone. A cone base 50 mm diameter and axis 60 mm long rests with its base on HP. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to HP inclined at 60 degree to VP and at a distance of 10 mm from its axis. The 60 degree inclination section plane must travel through 10 mm from its axis. Draw the sectional front view and true shape of the section. So after reading the question, always check what is the top and front view as per the given condition. Rest with its base on HP. If the base of a cone is on HP, our top view will be a circle, front view will be a triangle. So we will start our simple position. The top view is a circle with a diameter of 50 mm and always you can divide the circle into 8 divisions to make a, a better answer, to obtain a better answer in our final step A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Now you extend a projector from each and every divisions to complete the front view. The axis height of front view is 60 mm. Now you can complete the front view of a cone and given notations if you see from here as an observer if you see from here in the front view a b c d e will be visible but f g h is invisible from the front view so we uh, if you wish to write all the notations we can uh, write down in in the intermediate uh, divisions if there is no sufficient space if you are understand the concept no need to write everything here Okay, this is the uh, simple position of a cone. Now we can move on to section plane condition. Section plane is inclined at 60 degree to VP at a distance of 10 mm from its axis. So 60 degree to VP, this is uh, in the top view we have to draw an inclination of 60 degree to VP. 10 mm from the axis it is always difficult for us to take so whenever 10 mm like this like away from the axis so you draw a circle a small circle which is the radius of 10 mm the radius of 10 mm now you can draw a 60 degree inclination line as tangent to this radius or uh, 10 radius circle you can draw a section plane 60 degree inclination line tangent to this small circle which is the radius of uh, 10 mm you can see the distance here it is 10 mm now the condition is satisfied at a distance of 10 mm from its axis now you can convert this uh, 60 degree line as a section plane the section plane representation is continuous thick line followed by a dot and dash in both the ends this is the a removed portion of the solid and this part is the remaining portion of the solid okay now we can convert this uh, remaining portion of the solid into continuous thick lines the remaining portion of the solid alone in continuous thick lines identify the cutting points of a section plane now identify the cutting points of a section plane this is one so we can make it as first point as one if you extend a projector if you extend a vertical projector this is one dash okay correspondingly it is one dash next cutting point of section plane is on oa on oa we are having the next cutting point of section plane make it as two draw a perpendicular vertical projector on OA it must touch us. So you can check O dash here it is A dash on the O dash A dash generator it is 2 dash meeting point. Next is uh, the section plane is cutting OB. So this is OB we can make it as 3. Where is OB here in, in case of uh, this one O dash this is B dash O dash and B dash. Now you extend a vertical projector until it touches O dash B dash and make it as 3 dash. Next on OC. On OC this is the cutting point of section plane. So we can make it as 4. Still it is uh, since it is perpendicular to XY 
we even if you extend a perpendicular projector you may not identify the exact meeting point of a projector so for that what we can do is take o as center this four point as radius draw an arc o as center four point as radius draw an arc to cut oe now you extend a vertical projector give a notation as p and now you extend a vertical projector this p point on oe so here you have to extend until it touches o dash e dash in the front view corresponding generator so o dash e dash now you can shift this p dash p dash as parallel to x y parallel to x y like this and we can mark this is 4 dash so i repeat uh, for this step alone o as center 4 as radius draw an arc to cut oe from that point we extend a perpendicular projector until it touches o dash e dash after cutting this point make it as parallel to x y it will meet at one point in axis make it as 4 dash the final cutting point of section plane is in between this uh, c and d so make it as 5 extend a vertical projector this is c dash this is d dash so in between this is the meeting point we can make it as phi dash now you know what is the next step you have to join 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash phi dash don't use scale friends this is a cylinder smooth surface you are not allowed to use scale so draw a smooth curve then convert the remaining portion the remaining portion of the cylinder into thick lines this is the remaining portion of the cylinder into thick lines and complete the sectional front view this is our sectional front view now we can go for a true shape of this section draw a parallel plane of projection which is parallel to the section plane of 60 degree line while drawing this x1 y1 make sure that it must not overlap anywhere in this simple position as well as sectional front view take it away from the simple position drawing now you can extend a perpendicular projectors from all the section plane cutting points this is one if you check one dash which is exactly on x y so i extended until it touches x1 y1 make it as 1 1 the inclination of this perpendicular projector with respect to x1 y1 must be right angle 90 degree if you check this inclination it must be 90 degree this is two projector two perpendicular projector where is two dash this is two dash so from here you see my cursor from here you measure the distance of two dash keep your compass here and convert to one next point is three in three uh, you extend a perpendicular projector from x y measure the distance of three convert the same with reference to x one y one three one next point is four on a four perpendicular projector from this point measure the distance of four dash from this point as center and mark four one finally it is five dash five dash is exactly on x y so from five cutting point of section plane extend a perpendicular projector until it touches x one y one and mark it as five one so we have converted all these section plane cutting points in the plane of projection which is parallel to the section plane now you can join everything by means of a smooth surface smooth curve now we can do a hatching this is true shape of section this is the sectional front view and true shape of section if you wish to uh, check some other section of solid problems in hexagonal pyramid, square prism, square pyramid, uh, in some more problems related to code. You can refer the description box for a link or you can check the channel playlist section of solid. If you like this video, if you like this explanation, click the like button and share the same with your fellow friends. Uh, subscribe this channel for further videos. Thank you for watching.